Hello everybody, in this video I want to talk with you about should you use VPS, virtual private server or private proxies with uh, Firefox Portable for your stealth accounts. So this is a question which I get a lot from many many different customers or people in the dropshipping community. So I want to cover this question and show you the advantages and disadvantages of each method. So let's go. First of all, what is VPS? VPS is Virtual Private Server. This is a virtual computer which you just connect to the computer remotely and then you can use this for your stealth accounts to hide your IP address and use your uh, stealth accounts. Usually people are using uh, AWS, which is Amazon uh, servers, to use the VPS. So let's see what are the pros using this method. First of all, it's much easier. Just go to Amazon, purchase uh, the VPS, and then you can just surf to this and use this, and use this uh, virtual private server, same as you use your uh, computer. This is very, very easy, and you have a lot of tutorials in, in the network of how to do, this, do it right. The second thing is that you can use many virtual private servers together. You can just log into many different servers, and this way you can manage different stores in the same time in parallel. The next thing is a virtual assistant access. You can give these servers access to your virtual assistant, to your uh, remote workers, and then they can just log into these uh, servers and do whatever they need with your eBay stores or Amazon stores. This is very comfortable when you have employees so you just give them the, the details and they can just log into your stores. The next thing is that you can uh, use multiple stores on one VPS and I will explain about this later because this is actually a combination of the two different uh, methods. The next thing is it's easier. For many people it's just much easier so uh, people are just using this method and this is what they know, this is what people teach them, and this is why people are using this method. The other, uh, the disadvantages of this method is that it's much more expensive because the other way, which I will show now, uh, costs around one and half dollar or two dollars maximum per month, while this method will cost you around 10, 15 dollars, depending on the server. It, it may be even more. It's much less comfortable. This is my opinion. Other people can say that it's more comfortable, but it depends on uh, uh, the person. I prefer the other method. It's much slower. If you pay for your VPS only 10 or 15 dollars, so usually uh, this will be very, very slow VPS and it will not be comfortable for you because it will be very slow. Now let's go for the Firefox Portable with private proxies. I created a video about this. You can just write in YouTube uh, Stealth Accounts, uh, AutoDS, Private Proxy and you will find the video and I will also add it here under the video. So with this method, it's much cheaper. You just pay one and a half dollar per account, per proxy. Very, very easy and very, very cheap. The other thing is that it's much faster. You just browse from your regular computer. You don't need to log into any remote computer. So this is the best and the biggest advantage of this method. The next thing is that it's much more comfortable because you just go to browser, to Firefox browser directly from your computer and then you just surf to any site that you want. This is very easy. You can just create a folder per store. For each store, create another folder and then just go to store A you log into Firefox and then you go to your eBay store. Then you finish the work, you close this and you go to store B. This is very comfortable and very easy. The disadvantages of this method are that, first of all, you can't give virtual assistants uh, access to your private uh, proxies and Firefox because it sits directly on your computer. It's located on your computer, so you can't really give to anyone access to this or you can give them access to your computer, but it's not comfortable because you are working on this computer. Also, you can work only with one Firefox portable in parallel. So you can't manage two accounts in parallel. You just need to close one and then go to the next one. This, then close this one and then manage the other store. I don't think that this is a problem because 
You don't really work on more than one story in parallel. You always focus first in one task and then on the next task. The next thing is that it may be a bit confusing because uh, you have the Firefox, the regular Firefox and the portable and the Chrome on the same place. So it can be a bit confusing, but if you use only Firefox, only for this, so it will be fine for you and it will not be confusing for you. Now, as I promised, uh, we have the combination. The combination means that you will buy AWS VPS, then on the VPS, you can use many different Firefox portables. In this way, you can, you can uh, enjoy the both benefits. First, you can give the access to your virtual assistant. And in the other hand, you can save money if you have many stores because you pay only for one server of $15. And per, uh, per uh, eBay account, you will buy another proxy. So this way, you can create many different stores on one VPS and you can enjoy both benefits. This that you can give to your virtual assistant's access plus this that you can manage uh, different stores from the same uh, computer. I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to leave in the comments if you have any questions or any video which you want me to create. And don't forget to subscribe for our YouTube channel to get any uh, everyday new video from our 100 dropshipping videos project. See you on the next videos. Bye bye.